Hey everybody, another Bai envelope opening. Not a green envelope, but uh, just as fun. Let's dive in and see what's inside. Konnichiwa everybody. Got another Baiyi envelope. Normally they are green, but uh, Baiyi evidently used the original packing on this one. Got something hard in here. Be curious to see what I actually have. This one was kind of toward the bottom, so I'm pretty sure it's an older one and I have no clue at the moment what I even have here. Well, something uh, nice there, so open the packaging. Nice little envelope that I'll open up here and try to save that. Just a nice little plastic opening or envelope. I'll save that. Now I'm down into a cardboard protector. Let's pop up some of these tape seals on the edge. This one's definitely very cool. Well, now I've opened up into another envelope. This one has been packaged well, extremely, extremely well. So I'm gonna save this nice little envelope. And now I have some thin cardboard with some more edging on it. And now, ooh, nice. Boom, look at these old woodblock printed Menko. Wow. Definitely from the early 1900s. Wow, extremely cool. Man, this one, again, the packaging has been phenomenal on this. Here we go, a couple of the, Let me tear that off. Wow, I love these old R-Series. So these are R-Series Menko from the early 1900s, maybe 1905. Some of the very earliest ones out there. Here we go. Okay, very cool. All right. So, look at these. Amazing. Love the woodblock print. So you can see they've added had a pass of a black print woodblock. There was a red print. So three colors. There was an orange print. You can see that, so orange. And then you can see at the bottom there are blue. So four colors. They would have made a pass with a different block for each of the colors, pressed it down on the paper, uh, and then they, they would have had some machine to die cut these out, or they would have already had them die cut and then printed. I'm not sure we'll ever know. This is a Shikai Nami, my Gashira at the time. You can see the name of the company up there, I don't remember offhand, but I'll throw that up post-production. You can see there's a fighting number here. So these are used, uh, I think, really for math education. And you can see here in Japanese characters, what, I don't know, what is that, 70 million? Maybe 700 million? Maybe even 7 billion, but it, regardless, this is the number. And then this is in Japanese. Here's the rank and here's the Shikona. And then Romaji down here for the actual name. Very, very cool. And then look at this one. Again, this one has, if I can, it looks like gold. So some of these had gold gilding. Um, I'm not sure this, this Shikai Nami did. Maybe, I can't quite tell under this lighting, but what's really cool about this one, you had the gold. You see the name on his, the Keisho Mawashi, you see the Shikona. This one only looks like only has uh, well, I guess black, red, and gold, so not quite four colors. And then there you go as well. Company name up there, the Gangu, um, something Gangu. Fighting number, number, rank. What is that, the Ayashigawa? So, wow, very, very cool. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Appreciate um, you letting me uh, showcase a couple of these older Sumomenko. Have a good one, sayonara, bye.